When this organ was put in in the 70s, with the resources they had and the expertise that they had, they absolutely did the best they could. The Basilica is not a typical church where the organ may be played once a day or in some churches maybe once a week. We have two masses every day and for the longest time it was the only organ on campus where recitals were performed. So it's a lot of organ practice by students and basically the whole camp organ would go all day and the wear and tear on it became very, very costly. The sound of this existing organ barely can make it to the sanctuary, much less to the Lady Chapel. And just the power, the sound of this organ just doesn't quite make it back there. And that is something that is being really addressed with the new organ. This is the largest organ that we built here at the Fritz shop. All told, we will have worked on the organ three and a half to four years by the time it's all finished. This organ is basically twice as big as an average sized organ that we would make. The organ has just over 5,000 pipes. The case stands just over 40 feet high and it will weigh in excess of 12 tons. Organs are very labor intensive, so they do take a long time to build and this one's no exception. The size of the organ will give the organist a lot more sound possibilities. We hope too that the sound quality is gonna be uh, considerably better. We're aiming for a really high quality sound from the instrument and hope that that will encourage people to sing and uh, provide accompaniment for the choirs. It's always exciting with a large organ especially to see all the parts come together and actually uh, take shape. It has its challenging moments, but it is nice when you finally see it all coming together and starting to make music, and we're getting really close to that right now. I think it will be extremely gratifying to see the organ come together in the Basilica. That's always the moment that we really see the fruits of our labor from the past several years. On December 28th, the, the whole camp organ will be removed and they have five days to get it out. And then the pipes will be donated to St. Pius X Church in Granger for their new organ they're getting there and for the new sanctuary they're building. And we're really happy that the life of this organ will carry on. So it's not going to be discarded or put in a warehouse, that this, that this organ will have a new life in a great parish here in the South Bend area and what is coming is gonna be so far superior. It's gonna be one of the greatest organs in the country, if not the greatest organ in the country. That's really what this job is, is all about, providing music and lifting the spirits of, of the people who, who go to Mass here, who attend prayer here. It's about the students, it's about the staff, it's about the future. This organ will, will outlive us all, uh, as some of the great organs of Europe that last for hundreds and hundreds of years. And my goal is for people to look back one day on the committee and on the, the current leadership of the Basilica and for them to say that whoever they were, they did it right because this organ was well done, it's well thought out, well contemplated, and is a, really an organ for the ages and for the lifetime.